If you watch CNN in the last couple of days, you will be up to date on the latest installments in their ongoing Russia conspiracy soap opera that's been going on for seven months. Here's the latest if you haven't seen it. Apparently, Donald Trump Jr. met with a Russian lawyer who said she had damaging information about Hillary Clinton. This happened during the campaign. Apparently, the meeting was a bust in the end. There was no good information about Hillary. That's what Donald Trump Jr. has said. And the two wound up talking mostly about adoption. Trump Jr. left without getting any dirt on the rival campaign, let alone making any agreement to sell out his country. But to CNN's Chris Cuomo, it was the story of the century. Here he is trying to explain how important it is to Trump advisor Kellyanne Conway. I don't know what should be more troubling to you, that he would take a meeting not knowing who it was, but it was important enough to bring Jared or Manafort, or that Donald Jr. would knowingly meet with someone with Kremlin connections on the basis of getting oppo research about Hillary Clinton. First of all, you keep on saying opposition research the way you guys constantly vomit words like collusion and Russian interference and affecting the election, all of which you have no evidence. Even if you accept everything he says is true, and there's a credibility issue because he's changed his story twice, I'm no, sure you not. do. He's, he's I do. Story. I admire your moxie sitting there with the CNN Chiron right near you talking about credibility issues. I, well, given listen, a couple weeks you I guys could have not be... You're invested in months now as a network in something that simply doesn't exist. No. You want to talk about Russia, I want to talk about America. Yeah, I know, that, I know, but there are also reasons for why you don't want to talk about Russia, and I do. It is my responsibility to cover things that matter to the American people. The media matters. We of shouldn't disrespect each but other. We should give each other the benefit okay, of the doubt. An and we should pay attention to everything. It's not a, first of all, it's my show. This is what I do as I, as I talk to the television. The, the snarky looks, the furrowed brows, the, the rolling of the eyes from so many people on your panels, and you know it. You guys have made a business decision to be anti-Trump. Okay, the country And you can guys see have that. also made idiots. a decision. You've made a decision to be antagonistic towards the media, to lump us all together, to rally your followers, That's to think true. that we're bad people and attack us online. With a free press mm -hmm. comes a fair press and a fully responsible press. Well, that was kind of revealing. Did you notice that at the end? Kellyanne Conway says CNN has made a business decision to become the anti-Trump network. It's kind of a strong charge since, of course, that, if true, would bear no resemblance at all to journalism. And yet Chris Cuomo does not bother to deny that or even seem surprised by the charge. But then why would he? Because it's true. The whole interview lasted more than half an hour. And yet there is more. Cuomo went on Facebook to boast about how great he was. <laughs> Watch this. Yes, we did a very long interview with Kellyanne Conway White because we care. And to those who will say, oh, you're too hostile to the president, and who else would give Kellyanne that amount of time? Who else? Nobody. Why did we do it? Because we believe in the conversation. We believe in things being better. We believe in a non-hostile dynamic. We may start doing just a weekly series of these Facebook posts. They're just so good. It's just gold. By the way, none of this seems to be working, though. Unfortunately for CNN, they recently dipped below Nick at Night sitcom reruns in the primetime ratings. For those of you scoring at home, that's not good.